Hello Booktube. Well, here's a tag for Tag Tuesday, and it's the Friends tag. Now, the original of this is by Emily of Novel Novels, and I was tagged by Tori of Hufflepuff Discovery. Thanks, Tori. Um, it's a it's a good tag, a fun one. So it 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 uses the word friends letter by letter to make the prompts. So F is for friendship and um, it asks for a book with a strong friendship in it. Now I was tempted to choose um, Elena Ferranti's um, Neapolitan um, novels because that's four whole long books really all about one intense and complex friendship. But um, another one sprung to mind and that's this. It's um, Jamilia by uh, Chingiz Aitmatov, and this is a, uh, a Kyrgyz um, novel, a novel from Kyrgyzstan. Uh, well, I say novel, a novella really, it's very short. I must do a scallydandle about this one sometime because it's a wonderful, wonderful book. Um, and it's a love story, but we only really observe the love story um, through the eyes of a young man, still a boy really, and it, it's really that his friendship with his sister-in-law, his brother's wife, his brothers were uh, in the war, and um, Daniyar, the, the, a, a wounded soldier who comes to back to live in the village, and Tania and um, Jamilia fall in love, but it's the friendship between um, the younger boy and the two, the, the the older pair, that is kind of at the at the heart of the book as well. Um, yeah, great. Yeah, I will do. I'll do more about this book one day because it's a it's a great book. Next letter R is for real life, a non-fiction book you want to read. I was reminded the other day um, of a non-fiction book that I want to read by um, Sean the Book Maniac because he did, um, I think it was in one of his Friday reads, he was talking about um, Quarry, Quarry Wood by Nan Shepherd, and that's a novel, but that reminded me that I, I really want to read her non-fiction book, The Living Mountain, about walking in the, the Cairngorm um, mountains in Scotland. And I've, it's a favourite book of Robert McFarlane and Richard Maybe and so on. Um, she wrote it in the 1940s, but she didn't let it be published until the 1970s. And I, so thank you, Sean, for reminding me that I want to read that book. Um, number three is I, I for indie author. Now, I... I know what indie authors are, as in people who kind of um, self-publish or, 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 or sort of publish sort of independently without going through the sort of the, the, the traditional publishing industry route. Now, but I don't really read indie authors because I don't think I'm, um, I'm not networked into things that would recommend good indie authors to me and you know there's so many people out there and the kind of quality has to be really variable because it hasn't been through that sort of refining process um, of publishing and I, I can see I totally understand why people go down that route now because you can and because publishing has become it perhaps it's perhaps quite rigid and 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 so it, it offers a sort of a freedom um but i couldn't say oh i'd read that indie author because yes I, I almost i need i need to know how to find good ones but it did occur to me that um one of our one of our booktube community um charlie heathcote is an indie author i think i think you'd call it that and so i might use this prompt to kind of this tag to inspire me to read um, one of his books um, and I think they're kind of that kind of mystery kind of yeah they sound nice and the sort of thing that you might um, 
read with your feet up um, in front of the fire on a, on a winter's evening. So maybe I will. Um, there's a particular one that anyone out there would recommend to me, or um, Charlie himself, if, if, if he watches this. Um, please do, so I know which to choose. Okay, letter number four in, 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 in Friends is E, and E is for endings. A book where the ending made you scream, scream for more or otherwise. The book I picked for this is If Nobody Speaks of Remarkable Things by John McGregor. Um, it's a, 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 a favourite book of mine. Um, it's his first book and he, I've enjoyed a number since. He has a very kind of particular style. Um, he's really interested, I suppose, in the in the form and a sort of non unconventional form for, for for his novels. But he writes; he has lovely kind of poetic language and very kind of intense about people. And the ending of this book, I is stuck in my mind because it's an ending that simultaneously does like a a happy ending, a very happy ending, and a very sad ending at the same time intermeshed um so that you you read i remember reading the end of the book and sort of being moved to tears by both the happy and the sad um outcome in the ending of the story yeah good one didn't make me scream but you know i don't scream um i mean i can i do i suppose but not generally at books um, question number five is N. N for new, a new book you can't wait to buy. Okay, well, I so couldn't wait to buy this new book that I've actually already bought it, but only just, so I thought it was not cheating to choose it. And that's First Woman by Ugandan author um, Jennifer McCumby. And I, yeah, I'm really excited to read that one. It, it, it's a sort of hot new book um, in, 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 in the sort of... Um, within the, the kind of area of books, I suppose, that I enjoy reading. Um, came out in October. I've got it on the Kindle, ready to roll. I'll, um, I'll no doubt talk about it when I've read it. D is for dark. Uh, so, a book which has dark themes. I think I read quite a lot of books that have dark themes. I probably enjoy a book with dark themes better than one with um, sunny, happy ones. I'm always a bit suspicious of happy books. You know, there's this sort of, oh, what do they call it? Sort of up, uplift, up something books there's a load of at the moment. And uh, I have enjoyed a few, um, but yeah, I'm always a bit, almost a bit worried. I'd, I'd probably rather have a miserable book, really. Yeah, that's why I'm looking forward to reading Shaggy Bane. Um, and... But I have to pick one, just one, and the one I'm picking is The Enlightenment of the Green Gage Tree by uh, Shokufe Azar, which I just recently finished, and I'm gonna, going to do a scally dandling video about that one, and that might, I might get that up before the Tuesday that this is Tag Tuesday for, or afterwards, but either way, kind of coming soon. Lots of dark themes in that. It's a sad and angry book. But a beautiful one. And final letter in friends is S. S is for share. Share the love and tag some of your favourite booktube channels and, 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 and booktuber friends, as it were. First up, I have to tag Steve Donahue because he's everyone's friend on booktube. Um, well, certainly in our corner of it. Um, and a lovely friend too. Um, two of my kind of dearest booktube friends, I suppose, are Hannah of Hannah's Books and Alba of Seriella, so I'll tag both of them. My booktube friend that um, is probably physically nearest to me is a uh, Mark Nash, because uh, he's in London and I'm down on the coast in Sussex, so I'm going to tag him. And um, a kind of a friend's tag sounds a bit cuddly for our Mark, but actually I think there's plenty in these questions that he can get his teeth into, you know, he'll have books that he can talk about. And then I'm going to pick two of my kind of newer booktube friends or booktube, booktubers I'm, I'm, I'm now following um, who are a bit further afield. 
um, or further away from me than the market. And one of those is Freddie, sluggish reader. Um, you could do this one for Freddie, couldn't you? And the other is um, Joshna uh, of Joshna's Bookscapades. That's a great um, channel name, isn't it? Josh Joshna's Bookscapades. And uh, almost as hard for people to get right as um, as Scully Dandling about the books. And I had to pick her, um, partly because she's a, a lovely, lovely booktuber, does interesting, interesting things. But also, when I looked to check that she hadn't already done the Friends tag, I found that she had done a Friends tag, but not this Friends tag. She did one that's based on um, the the Friends TV series, and and she starts it by singing the theme tune. Brilliant! <laughs> totally without um, totally without shame. Just went for it. I love it. Um, so uh, there you go. Now there was a bonus question in um, Emily's um, original tag and that bonus question when I saw it kind of written down you know like the words in um, Tori's um, you know she's put the questions it said um, let's get this right it said um, show a gift from a frog that is special to you and I thought what on earth a frog that is special to you so um, I went and carefully watched Emily's original tag and although on her original tag in the description it talks about frog the what she actually says in the um, in the video is a gift from a friend, not a frog. So it's like a hysterical typo that is now going to be reproduced again and again from um, from from her um, type description. Anyway, here is a wonderful gift. It's a quilt, a quilt with pictures of teacups and tea jugs and slices of cake and oh, teapots you know how i love tea tea and books are my two of my favorite things and this was made from for me for my 50th birthday by a very dear friend who um who i've shared a lot of reading with over the years um we were students together and on the back she put you won't be able to read that i think oh well it'll be back front won't it but um she's put a, a quotation on here yet stands the church clock at 10 to 3 now I know some of you out there will recognize that and why the poem that it comes from and why it's very appropriate to put it on a quilt with covered in covered in teacups and cake have a good week everyone <laughs>